and welcome to another segment of Heal Thyself, Benefits of Holistic Living. I'm your host, Mia Sines, and in this segment with me is Angela Gower Johnson. Now, I'm going to show you Angela in a moment, but I do want to tell you that I love this woman very much. She is my personal um, healer that I go to, and so I'm very excited for her to share her work with you today. So welcome, Angela. Oh, thank you so much for having me, and, and I adore you so much. I know. <laughs> okay. Um, will you share with us? <laughs> Sorry, guys. That was just was natural. We're also very good friends, so we're going to be a little bit punchy here, I think. So, Angela, will you please share with us um, the process that took you, not just the process, but your story that took you to do the incredible work that you do. Your journey is really magnificent. Oh, well, thank you so much. Um, yes, I will try and keep this really short because we have a really short amount of time to play. So um, I chose to be born into a family that had a lot of pain and anger and trauma and drama. And there was quite a bit of abuse. And that threw me into spirituality and a quest for finding um, happiness was really what I was looking for. And I was able to read energy from a really early age and to hear other people's thoughts and to feel other people's emotions. And it was so comforting to dive into different types of religions and to expand on that. And in 2000, I started a really firm practice of trying to find the next thing because I'd been doing Buddhism for over 20 years and I had a really strong practice. And I was ready for some more support because my awareness had expanded to a place far beyond what I was comfortable with dealing on my own without a sort of community and support system. And I quickly realized that that new support system was Native Americans. and I knew nothing about them. You know, I grew up American and my understanding of Native Americans was, you know, playing that, you know, childhood game of, cowboys and Indians that was about all I really knew so it was a really fresh thing for me so I ended up doing around three hours of chanting every day well it was a minimum of three hours of chanting um, a Buddhist chant and then there was dancing that I did as well which could be called trance dancing which was a way for me to get information and after nine months of this I ended up booking a flight to go to California because I was living in the UK. Now I didn't know about any Native Americans out there. All of the information that I got was from Spirit and, and I had a really in a designer jewelry company with a friend of mine and she said if you get on that plane you're fired because she thought I was crazy. Anyway, long story short, I drove right to one of my teachers and um, I started working with some Native Americans and some people that are white like me. And it was a very small group, around 13 people who had been called, invited by spirit to get together. And I ended up training with them for around 10 years um, before they gave me my sort of wings to fly off and be me and to use the tools. And I still am connected to some of them, but now my whole journey is about getting my own answers from creator directly. And I mastered the tools that I needed to master. So what I do now is I try to find ways to get people to get out of the things that I went through. So I went through a lot of abuse. I was a victim. I was really depressed. I wasn't happy. So that's like the far extreme. Um, and now what I do is I look for people who are in business because I love the energy of business and I support them in reaching their dreams. And I do that by teaching them 
that they have a greatness, that they are a director of their life. So for me, I learned this concept quite early on, and it was very difficult for me to master because I really loved playing the character of being a victim. And everything that I do, I try it on myself first. I wouldn't try anything on a client without having experienced it for myself and getting results. So I always go back to me and my story because I've lived it. But I like to use it as a form of support. But what I realized is that we are the director of our lives. We do have this stage where we're on and we play on it all the time. And there's these different characters and roles that we play and these different costumes that we wear and these different storylines that we use and play. And we can change those. And by changing those, it really changes our environment. It changes everything. And what I've learned is that it can happen so easily, like in just one session of really sitting in the position of being the director of your life, you can make tremendous changes. And that excites me so much because I really believe that we're here to expand the universe. And to do that, we have to be our greatness. and We have to be able to have fun and enjoy this magical, beautiful world that we're living in. That's awesome. Thank you. I'm I'm have gotten so calm and relaxed as as we're talking. I just maybe I feel like I'm going into session here with you. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Angela. Um, let's talk somewhat about um, your energy is very powerful, and you can you can um, clearly see feel the experience of other people when they shift. Yeah. And so when you're working with somebody to be the director of your chair. Your life, yep. Your life. <laughs> <laughs> to be the director. See, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You've gotten me in this, like, very calm state. I'm not the, the host of the show anymore. Um, <laughs> Yay. So when you become the director of your life, and I am right now, um, what, what is that like for you to – I know what it's like for me to feel people's energy and stuff, but you, you really – are tapped in minute by minute because um, I know when I personally shift when we're in session, you you feel it and you're just like, you know, there you go. So what is that like for you? The first time you experienced that type of powerful um, energy flowing back and forth, what was that like? Um, I guess for me, it's not like as impressive maybe as it is for you because for me it's just a natural extension of what I've always done so it's just a little bit of a deeper level of being able to see or feel someone's thoughts or emotions so feeling where they are where a person is in session is just a natural progression to being able to tap into their inner thoughts and their inner emotions. And it's great for me to be able to do that because I really know when someone is really diving in deep and really receiving. So for me, it's really clear how much they received or how much resistance there is because you would think if, um, you were given a magic wand that you would use it. And, you know, that's a question I asked um, some of my clients once was, if you had a magic wand, would you really use it? He is, some people just wouldn't. They would maybe half use it, um, willing to really, really use it. And what I do is stay with my clients and take the journey with them and invite them deeper and I can just feel it when they actually are receiving and making those changes and going deeper. Awesome. And I, and any of you and a lot of you have your own talents and your own gifts. And so it does make sense because um, we all have our own ways that we know that something is right on. Absolutely. Right. It's beautiful, Angela. Um, can you share about being the director of your life? <laughs> okay.
Okay, so what exactly would you like me to share? Well, it's very powerful. I, I'm not sure exactly how you want to share it with our audience so that they can get a, a little, either a little taste of it or they oh, can. Oh, I see. Yeah. A little taste of it. <laughs> okay, perfect. Well, I just want to reiterate really quickly before we do that. The whole reason I developed this was because I was looking for a way to get people to actually be their greatness in their lives and to do that with really quick results. I'm the type of person who likes to see results really, really quickly. So I've tried to learn how to knit, but that was really slow for me. But crocheting, I was able to do really easily because I could crochet a scarf for someone in like three hours. You get results really quickly. So I'm just like a get results quickly type of person. Awesome. Um, and I just knew for me, the thing that's so exciting is that I know that with other people that you have in your life, there's a way to start making a change as to how they respond to you and being the director of your life. The first step, is changing the characters and roles and storylines that you play on stage as the actress and or the director. And once you master that, then you can really start to master your environment and start to live in this life that's really, really magical. So that is why I designed this whole Be the Director of Your Life. The first step is being able to have control as the director of the character that you play and those storylines. But the next step, the thing that really excites me is that you then get to do that with the other characters and that's where it gets really juicy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll just take you through a really basic, just open way of doing the be the director of your life so we start by doing some shamanic breathing so it's breathing in through the mouth really deeply holding it and then exhaling really slowly through the nose and that's three deep breaths so breathing in through the mouth and holding it and exhaling slowly through the nose. Just relaxing as you exhale. And again, breathing in through the mouth. And holding it just allowing your eyes to close if they aren't already closed and exhaling slowly through the nose. Breathing in through the mouth. Holding it. the nose. Perfect. So you can continue to do the shamanic breathing or you can breathe naturally. And I'd just like you to focus on the sound of my voice and at any time if you need to come back you can do that quickly and easily and refreshed and ready for the rest of your day. But for right now, I'd like my voice to be a source of safety and comfort and relaxation. Allowing your eyes to just get heavier and just having it be easier to just close your eyes. Sitting back feeling supported, comfortable, eyes closed. Just going on a little journey and taking my voice with you. I'd like you to imagine in your mind's eye that you're on a stage. And maybe it's one of those old-fashioned stages with 
planks of wood. The wood's really smooth. Maybe you can see the grain in the wood. Maybe you can feel the floor underneath your feet. Maybe some of the lights are on. There might be some sounds, including the sound of my voice. Just allowing my voice to follow you. And out in the distance, you can see some chairs, some seating. And there's a director's chair. And you know it's a director's chair because it's a little bit different. And maybe it's like one of those typical director's chairs that is wood and canvas and Maybe it has your name stenciled on it, or maybe it has directors stenciled on it. Or maybe it's a little bit different. Maybe it's like a seat of power, or like a throne of strength. And I'd like you to start walking to that director's chair. And with every step you take, you may be able to start acknowledging that you actually are the director of your life. Yeah, you played characters on the stage. You've had storylines and scripts that you followed. There's been roles and so many characters that you've played. But what if now is the time to start owning that you're actually the director as well? And with every step you take to your director's chair, you might find it's easier to acknowledge that you are the director of your life. You do have the ability to change the storylines. You do have the ability to change the scripts the environment. That's right. And getting to your director's chair, you might feel something, something a little bit different deep inside. And as you sit in your director's chair, there might be a little tingly sensation some sort of sensation that allows you to know that this is something different. This is giving you a little bit more access to your greatness or maybe a huge amount of access to your greatness. From this place, you can connect more fully to the universe, to God, to Creator. And just allow your energy to expand far beyond your director's chair. What if by sitting in your director's chair, you could expand out 2,000 miles in every direction, just expanding your energy out, connecting with the universal life force, connecting with your universal managers. And as you sit in your director's chair, and start to really, really acknowledge that you're the director of your life. I'd like you to look at a character you've been playing on stage, something that you'd like to change, a storyline that you'd like to change, a role that you've been playing, and some area of your life that you'd like to change. You can simply shine the light of Creator like a floodlight onto that character, onto that role, the scripts that are dealing with that, the storyline, and everywhere and anywhere that that's not in alignment with your greatness or the light of Creator, allow it to turn into a fine glittery dust, into magic. And your universal managers rush in and rewrite the scripts, rewrite the storylines, rewrite the story, rewrite the character and role so that all of those things are a vibrational match to the light of creator, to the light of the universe.
just looking at something that you'd like to change and maybe diving a little bit deeper just doing that process over again shining the light of creator like a floodlight really bright dense beam of light and everywhere and anywhere that that story that script that character that role is not in alignment with your greatness or it's not in alignment with the light of the universe gets turned into a fine glittery dust into magic and your universal managers come in and rewrite everything so that it is an alignment it is a vibrational match to the light of creator there you go locking those changes into place just sitting back in your director's chair looking at that character and role on stage seeing how it's shifted and changed maybe playing out the story a little bit and seeing how it's different and continuing to shine the light of creator and continuing to allow all of the scripts and the storylines and the characters and roles that weren't in alignment the lighter creator to turn into that fine glittery dust into magic and then magically rewritten by your universal managers just breathing in the changes feeling something different maybe allowing a little inner smile and inner joy to start rising to the surface and in a minute i'm going to bring you back to the room so dive deep now really dive deep and quickly easily make the changes that you've been asking for allow that inner smile and that inner joy to really start bubbling to the surface as you dive deeper and make the changes that you've been asking for there you go I'm counting you back to the room five tonight as you sleep and dream doing this three times and three times more so that when you wake up you wake up fully feeling and knowing that something has shifted and changed for being able to do this process again and getting to it three feeling something different maybe feeling that inner smile and that inner joy rising and bubbling to the surface two feeling a greater strength and connection to the universe to god to the creator to the light of creator one opening your eyes wide awake refreshed better than you were before happy happy joy joy big yawn big stretch oh wiggling your gorgeous beautiful body thank you wow different yay that's awesome thank you for a demonstration of your work that was very wonderful and this works for everybody i'm saying this not i'm asking i'm saying this because it works for um those who are rather logical and then you learn how to get into your heart it works for uh, metaphysicians it works for spiritualists it, it works for everyone so it's really beautiful to just take the journey and 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 hop on that little train there Thank you, Angela. Um, you have a free gift. We're almost out of time, but you have a free gift. Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> I mean, that was a free gift too. But <laughs> Yay. Well, my current free gift at the 
moment in Tools for Change. And if you, you do it as directed, it would take you at least 21 days to do it. It's just a system for removing some of the most common blocks and limitations that people have. And it's audios and videos and a PDF and some energetic journeys to support you in your growth and supporting you in starting to be the director of your life and the creator and accessing the infinite possibilities that are available to you. That's lovely. Thank you so much. And thank you, Angela, for joining us today. It was awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yay. Thank you. And thank you all. We will see you in another segment. Bye.